What is up guys, Milak here, and today we are back in action playing the aisle. It's going to be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it and help me out tremendously. So today we are playing as a shant. The shant is a massive carnivore, or a herbivore here. Uh, he has a lot of health and a lot of stamina. Uh, 2,800 health and uh, 2,000 stamina. They do quite a bit of damage as well. They're uh, pretty good against T-Rexes. And that kind of stuff. And uh, they're probably, I mean, I like them a lot. Uh, so we're going to play as one and kind of check it out. Now, uh, let's go ahead and go through the, the roars here. We have the first one, which is our announced one. Uh, which I feel like all of the Shant's uh, roars or cries here are kind of uh, not very loud at all. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like the T-Rex one or any of the other ones are pretty loud. Uh, this is friendly. Uh, so friendly is... Uh, very nice, and we also have this guy right here, which is threatened or, you know, st stuff like that. And then we have that one, which is I'm hurt or, you know, danger, that kind of stuff. And then we have the default roar here. Nice! Now, he does have a few different things. You can uh, you can walk normally in all fours. Uh, you can, uh, whenever you trot, you actually lift up and uh, only walk in your hind two legs. And then uh, you have a left, a left attack, which is a stomp. The stomp uses, like, 200 stamina, I think. Let's go ahead and try it again. Yeah, the stomp uses 200 stamina, so it does a lot of damage, though, and it's very good. And then you also have a right-click ability, which is kind of like a, a headbutt ability, kind of like the T-Rex or the Carno, that when, whenever they uh, bite downwards, except for this guy just does a little headbutt. And I think that's it for the Shant. Anyways, we are going to head into the forest and uh, try to uh, make some friends, slash uh, kill some creatures, and uh, have a beautiful adventure. Now, Shants are really good at uh, d uh, taking care of smaller carnivores, like uh, the aloe right here. Uh, pretty much the only thing that can take down Shants is either a T-Rex pack or a uh, really big pack of like uh, smaller carnivores. Uh, so like this guy right here, 1v1, I mean, unless I just did horribly and he did really well, most likely I would win this conflict. Now, he isn't bothering me, so I'm going to leave him alone. If he does attack, we are going to uh, take him out, at least try to take him out. Uh, I'm going to head to Spawn Lake, and we're going to see if anything can happen there. Now, uh, I did get almost all the way to Spawn Lake, but the server, like, restarted. So uh, we're heading back there now. And then hopefully we can encounter a herbivore pack or anything like that. And uh, I can help be the defense against all the other creatures, and it'll be beautiful. Um, Shants are very powerful, and I'm excited about taking out some T-Rexes and uh, some other creatures as well. It's going to be really fun. This guy still, I was, I was actually expecting this guy to attack me, but maybe he's not. Maybe I should uh, go attack him. I'll just leave him alone. Now, the thing is, also, is the Shants have very fast running speed. They can outrun most other creatures. Oh, uh, you want to growl at me, bro? You want to growl at me, bro? You can't handle this. You can't handle the sh Shant or the mate. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. That's what I thought. Okay, it looks like he's going to leave me alone. Okay, so let's uh, uh, let's, uh, let's head to uh, Spawn Lake. Oh, yeah, here's, uh, here's the Ruins Lake. I'm not exactly sure what this is called. Um, I know that there's Cannonball Lake, there's like Twin Peaks, I'm not sure which one is which. And then there's like Spawn Lake, and then there's like another lake as well. I'm not sure which one this is. I know which one is uh, that's o or Cannonball. I know there's Oasis. Yeah, I'm not sure which one is Twin Peaks. So the Allosaurus has been following me for through the jungle here. Uh, we've met up with a turkey, and then now we've met up with a turkey. Uh, a turkey. <laughs> a ducky. So we have a turkey, ducky, and Allosaur. Uh, I'm expecting the Allosaur at some point betray us. Uh, looks like the ducky is actually uh, injured right now. Um, he was limping around, so I don't know if something attacked him or if he just broke his legs. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I think I'm going to abandon Ducky because we need to continue our adventure uh, towards Spawn Lake. I'm sorry for abandoning you, Ducky. Is he? Yeah, he's limping, I think. I'm not exactly sure. I think he's limping. Also, the turkey doesn't seem to uh, mind the Allosaur. I guess maybe he thought he was with me, which he's not. He's just tagging along, and I, he, he, he's alive at my mercy right now, the Allosaur is. Ah, uh, we finally made it to T-Rex land. We've walked the plains and through the jungle, and we are finally here. Now, I am without protection of a herd, but I am a shant. I am a proud shant warrior, and I shall uh, defeat all those who oppose me. Um, <laughs> so it looks like there's not really a uh, T-Rex army or anything here yet, uh, which is good. That means uh, we can probably sit here, rest peacefully for a while. It's just a lone uh, T-Rex here, and I'm not scared of him, uh, so that's good. You want, you want to roar at me, bro? Do you want to go? You want to go? 
Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't want to 1v1 me. That's exactly what I thought. We got an aloe. We got a shant. We got a galley over there, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and get some water here. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's a shant brother. Wait, wait. We got to we gotta meet up with our shant brother in arms. Let me see what my thirst is. Look at my thirst. Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, what's up, man? You want some of this? Yeah, you want some of this? <laughs> yeah, you want some of this? Yeah, I... Oh, right on your face, right on your dome, bro, yeah. Now the problem with the shank is he's really fast, but the bleeding can take him down really quickly. So uh, you need to take him out pretty fast. I am faster than the, I am faster than these aloes right here, but they are using her uh, pack tactics to, yeah, they are using pack tactics to actually uh, take me out right now. So that's actually a good strategy on their part. Um, but yeah, what's up, man? Okay, so I've killed one of these guys. We need to kill the other one right here. Now, if I'm going to go out, I'm definitely going to go out, but I'm going to take out both these guys right here. Yeah, he's bleeding. He's bleeding. Yes. He's going to go out here in a second. I'm going to take two of these bastards with me. Yeah, and he's down. Anyone want any more? And I'm dead. <laughs> okay, well, this is actually a good time to... Um a uh, good time to check out the skins here. I spawned in as a shant, so that was the thing. I guess we won't get to meet up with our shant brothers. Uh, that was a pretty good battle, though. I enjoyed that. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the skin. So the default skin looks like a little blue. Uh, it's blue. Uh, actually, it's more like a realistic blue, I would say. And then this guy is more of a, uh, I guess, uh, just blue or blue. <laughs> I'm not describing them very well. Uh, we got this guy, which is kind of like a uh, tan slash orangish co color. Uh, we got the green one, which I was before. We have uh, kind of like the desert colored one with uh, some darker, I guess, browns and tan colors. Uh, we got the albino one or the white one. I call it albino because I'm pretty sure that's why everyone calls the skins, even though he doesn't have like red eyes and stuff. Uh, we got another green one. Uh, so is there two of the exact same green ones? No, they're different. I see. So this one has more like uh, brighter colors in it, and th this one is more muted. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and be... I'm not sure. I kind of like this last green one here, right here. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and be this guy. Now we were at Spawn Lake. I, what my my thing? Wait, why, why am I not? What happened? Why? What's what's happening? Okay, so it looks like we're about to have some pro problems with the T Rex here. Uh, do you want you want to fight me, bro? You want to go? Uh, this other T Rex is pretty front. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Now, we do have bleeding at 15. I'm going to go ahead and lay down. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lay down and get my bleeding on. Or, yeah, well, I'm, I made that sound good. I'm going to get rid of my bleeding real quick. Now, uh, also, a good thing about laying down with Shants is they gain 45 stamina like per second every time you lay down. So they have a massive pool of stamina, and they get it back really, really fast. So you can pretty much sprint forever, and you get it back really fast. Uh, bleeding level is going to go down. Uh, we're almost back at Spawn Lake, which, which is good. I have a little packy brother here with me, uh, which is pretty sweet. We have this little Carno. Do you want some of this Carno? Uh, looks like he's limping, so uh, he's showing no aggress aggression. He just wants to uh, uh, eat some of my kill there. I'm going to let him do that since I'm bleeding right now. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that other T-Rex just wanted to sit back and watch. <laughs> so I understand. I am the almighty Shant. I got a direct hit on the T-Rex with the Stomp. The Stomp does a lot of damage. Uh, he could have also been injured as well, so I'm not exactly sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was about to end the uh, the clip here, and we got a T-Rex coming. Do you want some of this, bro? Actually, it looks like he's just hungry right now. My bleeding level is still 13. I need to get some water, though. Um, I was on my way to Spawn Lake to actually get some water. So we got an aloe now. Really, guys, really. Okay, level 11. Attack me, Aloe. I dare you to free. Do you do you want? Okay, he's not. Okay, he's he's not aggressive. He's not aggressive. I'm gonna leave him right there. Oh yeah, you coming? You coming after me, bro? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. Our bleeding is down to seven. We have lost quite a bit of health though. I do have a Shant brother here with me, which is pretty good. I'm gonna rest and uh, recover some more bleeding. I do need to get some water and some more food here in a second. 
Uh, but I don't, uh, w when I'm bleeding like this, I don't want to lose an excessive amount of health. Uh, but <laughs> I thought that T-Rex was going to attack me there for a minute. Um, I guess not. Champ, brother, don't leave me. I need you. Please come back. Come back and be my brethren. Guess not. I guess he doesn't care. He has no feelings for his uh, champ brothers. That's fine. Oh, there's a Stego. What's up, Stego? Hello, Stego. Guys, don't think I'm care bearing. I just can't do anything about this corner right now. I'm bleeding. I want to recover. I'm not care bearing, okay? I'm not care bearing. This guy is just here, okay? Just don't judge me for care bearing. I'm not care bearing right now. Yeah. Yeah. Car, no, I don't. No, don't do that. You're not a part of my pack. You're not a part of my pack. Okay, down to five. Nice. Stego. Stego, come join me. Don't join the other. Don't. No, I know this Carno here is with me, but he's not with me. Okay, so my bleeding level is at uh, one right now. I guess we're good to go. Let's do this. I'm going to catch up to my champ brothers. Come on, Packy. No, Carno, stay out of here. You're not with me, bro. I'm sorry that I have to betray you like this. You seem like a very nice person. And if I was born a different species, I would be your friend. But I am a herbivore, and I am true to my herbivore brothers. Yeah, we have three chants. Uh, the Packy is uh, coming up, and we also got a Stego, so we're forming a little herd here. Uh, we should be uh, protected uh, from T-Rexes and stuff like that. I do have bleeding level one, but I thought it was pretty safe to actually uh, uh, roam around. It's probably going to be safer with the these guys than it would be uh, anywhere else anyways. By myself over there laying next to the freaking Carno that's going to betray me. He's actually probably not going to betray me. He's probably a good person. But um, I can't just trust him like that. <laughs> Looks like we do have uh, a T- Oh my god, there's like four T-Rexes over there. I'm like half health. Yeah, I, I'm like half health. I'm not I'm not interested in this battle right now. Yeah, let's go over towards the Puerta here. Uh, Stego. Stego, you're, you're gonna die, man, if you don't follow us. Follow me if you want to live. Or not. You can go over towards the five Rexes. That's fine. I'm staying with my real brothers right here. The Packy and then the, the Shants. Hey, there's Pinky Sor. Sup, man? Sup, bro? And this card is still following us. Like, we're going to protect him. We're not going to protect you. Uh, but I guess we're heading over here to the Puerta. He's going to be uh, decently safe. Original uh, humor. Oh, yeah, he used a pun. We meet again. Puns. I like puns. Especially when they involve my name. Hello, Puerta. Hello, JT207. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to pause it and we're going to find out whatever happens. I need a rest and actually, I need to get some water. We're locked in battle with the Carno. He's trying to chase our ducky friend. You shall never have ducky. Ever. Uh, so, uh, looks like there's a couple Puertas down here. Uh, there's an aloe. Wait, is the Carno and aloe now fighting? What's going on? I need to get some food and water. Uh... <laughs> So yeah, this little car knows a douchebag. Why are you gonna be such a douchebag, man? I spawned over there and all the trees over there you can't like eat them. It's really strange like certain trees on the map are bugged or something I'm not sure exactly why but I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna get some food get some water and then we are in uh, protection with uh, our uh, Champ brothers and our Puerta uh, Herb friends and also a Stego. So that's pretty good. We have started to form a big herd We have let's see one two three four five six six Shants a ducky, a stego, uh, two puertas, a uh, looks like a galley, and yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, there's another shan over there as well, and looks like a big. Oh my god, I thought those creatures in the distance, uh, the two shans combined, looked like a giant crab monster. I was like, when did they add giant crab monsters into Isle? Uh, but we got two more shans on the way as well. Oh my god, there's even more. There's three shans. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 shants. Oh my god. So many shants. <laughs> Dude, 11 shants is absolutely crazy. Massive, massive shant nation. What's up, guys? <laughs> we got uh, Serena, Flawless, Ozzel, Pixel, like uh, Zaria, uh, Nation, uh, Crypt. Crypto. Oh, dude, it's Crypto. I haven't seen this guy in a long time. He was in one of the previous episodes. Pinky was in one of the previous episodes as well. Uh, so, yeah, what's up, guys? We got a lot of people here. 
There, there's so many chance. This is where we need to find like a big T-Rex pack and take them on. Like 10 T-Rexes versus uh, our army right here. So, dude, shant army. This is crazy. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. But, uh, <laughs> wait, I want my HUD to come back. There we go. Uh, I guess we're going to head to either Cannonball Lake or Oasis, one of those two places. The massive army has decided to come back and take over Spawn Lake. We were going to hide, but no more. Everyone has finally finally realized the awesome pack or the awesome power of the, the herd here. Eleven Shants, uh, Puertas, Stegos, just all kinds of creatures. We can pretty much take on anyone, uh, and we, we're going to try anyways, I guess. Uh, there's no point in hiding, <laughs> so... Uh, I mean, not with the massive army anyways. I guess there is some aloes here. I don't know if there's T-Rexes at the other end. Yeah, it's time for the herbs to take back what is rightfully ours. <laughs> Dude, this is the biggest shant army I think I've ever seen. Uh, comment down below if this is the most shants you've ever seen. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's been like 20 shants or 25 shants. But this is the most I've ever seen, So, and it's quite a lot. I've seen a big T-Rex herd. I've never seen this big of a shant herd, though. This is crazy. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, I guess uh, the Puertas are now called Landwells, so I shall adopt the new saying and call them Landwells myself. So we have duckies, we have turkeys, and we have uh, Landwells. I need to come up with other names for the other creatures. Like the shants. What would the shants be called if they had a nickname? I'm not sure. Suggest some nicknames about down below. I can call all the creatures. <laughs> <laughs> We're all taking on the poor Rex. Get out of here, Rex. And the Rex is down. Nice. Good job, Shants. Good job, Shant brothers. We have we have got we have got rid of the sc uh, scourge of the island here. I'm gonna eat some food now. I need food. Oh, the <laughs> the Rexes think they can challenge us, huh? It's normally the Rexes that are approaching us, not <laughs> not the herd. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, we don't care how many uh, T-Rexes there are. Yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, this guy laying down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. This is our spawn lake. We own this spawn lake. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is great. This is amazing. Form a line, man. Form a line. <laughs> oh, how am I? What? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. T-Rex. T-Rex. Get the T-Rex. There's too many shants. There's too many shants to control. No. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> Dude, there's so many. I'm, I'm trying not to hurt my sham brothers here. No, T-Rex. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're getting a little too rambunctious, I think. There's too many of us, like, crowded around in a single area. Okay, I got a good spawn, so... Uh, <laughs> What's up, Rex? <laughs> yeah, what's up, Rexes? Get out of here. Yeah, that was a little rambunctious. I probably shouldn't have done that. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're going to just try to uh, go crazy today. We're going to go crazy. We're just going to try to take every everything out. I don't care about the deaths. Or anything like that. We're just going to take everything out with our huge herd here. Okay. I guess I'm going to rest for a little bit. Because I'm currently bleeding to death. I should probably go eat, actually. Ah, dang it. I must make a great sacrifice by having the galley murder me so I can spawn closer to the herd. It's taking the galley a long time, though. He's been hitting me for like five minutes. 
Uh, remind me never to uh, be very aggressive as a galley. I'm assuming they, they probably do damage to smaller creatures, but uh, to, to <laughs> remind me never to be a galley and attack a shant, which I don't think I would ever do that anyways. It just, they, they take a while. So they also do zero bleeding damage, it looks like. I guess they don't have any claws or anything. I don't know. You'd figure they do a little bit of bleeding damage. They do nothing, though. He's, uh, he's very slowly murdering me. Um, <laughs> I, let me give him some words of encouragement. Almost there. There we go. You're al almost there. <laughs> um, <laughs> very close. You're so close. This will be the first time in history that a galley has taken on a shant. Not really. I'm sure there's plenty of galleys that have killed shants. But, uh, yeah, there we go. A galley just murdered me. Let's, let's pray for the best spawn ever. Best spawn ever happened now. Uh, we, this is not the best spawn. It's not the worst spawn either, though. Let's see, where are we? Yeah, this isn't the greatest spawn at all. Actually, we're still pretty far away. I've made it back to my brothers, yes! I'm back, my brothers. Yes. <laughs> I'm back, my brothers. Hello. <laughs> so it looks like I found the pack again, which is good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and accept the invite. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Th everyone's starting to show up now. We got Serena and then uh, Warrior of War. I need to rest a little bit because I kind of sprinted most of the way here. I also need to finish getting some of my food. Uh, looks like they've decided to migrate, which is probably a good, <laughs> good idea after all the, the losses we've had. But we've also taken out a lot of Rexes as well. We're pushing our advance to the other side of the lake here. We got Serena and Ozil. Uh, the rest of the Shants are back on the other side of the lake. Uh, we thought we might try to push, though. I mean, there's not that many T-Rexes. It looks like there's three. Oh, that one just died. Well, dude, there's T-Rex bodies everywhere. I don't know if they were, like, inner fighting between themselves or someone came over here and took care of business. I have no idea, but uh, there's only three T-Rexes. We got two Puerts, we got uh, two Turkeys, and we also have two Shants. And it looks like a Stego. Actually, what happened to the other Turkey? My beautiful Turkey brother, where'd you go? I'm not sure. Yeah, roar all you want, buddy. Oh, we got this T-Rex over here who's isolated. Looks like he doesn't want any, though. So I guess we'll leave him alone. We have claimed the big end of Spawn Lake as our own. Yes. Turkey's going after Rex. Get him, Turkey. Get him, Turkey. Okay, looks like the battle's about to ensue here. Yes! Okay, so I got a few hits. I'm bleeding. I didn't even see him bite me, though. What's my bleeding? Okay, 10. That's not that bad at all. Okay, that T-Rex is bleeding. Get him! Finish him, Turkey! Finish him! Finish him! Yeah! Good job, Turkey. Good shit. There you go. Okay, so it looks like everything is pretty much taken care of. I guess I'm going to rest and relax now with my tin bleeding. That should go away here pretty fast. Uh, oh, no, we got... Hey, what's up, T-Rex? Get out of here, T-Rex! Yeah! I'm gonna take care of business. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I apologize. You might have been a friendly T-Rex, but you're bleeding, so obviously you're battling someone. Oh, my bleeding levels went down. Nice. Okay, well, we've completely claimed Spawn Lake. Oh, Alfie said he killed me. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, we have some T-Rexes back here. They're attacking our galley friend. Yeah, we won't we won't we won't settle for this. We won't let you kill our galley friend. You guys want some? <laughs> okay, T-Rex is down. Thank thankfully the theory didn't actually hit me. That would have been bad. I think Spawn Lake is mostly cleansed. Uh we killed all of the T-Rexes. There there's seriously like 25 T-Rex bodies that <laughs> that are just around Spawn Lake in this whole area right here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helped me out tremendously. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Maybe we'll kill this final T-Rex.
If there's any more battles, I'll add it on to the, the, the end of this clip. Come on, T-Rex, 1v1 me, bro. Yeah, you guys better run away. Yeah, you want some? You want some? I'm sorry it has to be this way. I'm sorry it has to be this way. This is just the way it is. You're not allowed to spawn lake. Spawn lake belongs to us herbs. <laughs> We're the most aggressive asshole herd in existence right now. I'm sorry, you're not. Fr you're, I'm sorry. The I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to die. Yep. I'm sorry. That that's just the way it's gonna be. There's no there's no T-Rex friends in this one. No T-Rex friends. I kind of feel bad, but I kind of don't as well. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel bad, but I got a tone as well. Uh, such conflicting emotions. We must not let them gather in an army. There, oh, oh, there's another T-Rex right here. You want some T-Rex? Chasing him off. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. This is great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just has to be this way. I'm sorry. It just has to be this way. There could be no T Rexes here. We're trying to cleanse the air, the area for Rex. <laughs> oh my god, it's poor Rex. Poor, poor Rex. Oh man. Nope, it didn't hurt me. Neither Rex hurt me. That's why I kind of feel bad. But you know what? We still have to cleanse it. it, it yep. And that, that Rex is just running away. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'll see you guys in the next one.